Not so long ago, Philippe Coutinho was considered one of the best football players in the world. His combination of pace, dribbling, vision, and shooting made the Brazilian star one of the most complete and fearsome offensive player in the world. His ability with the ball brought him many compliments, and he was compared to historic footballers such as Zico, Del Piero, Ronaldinho, and even Lionel Messi. However, his career took a radical turn recently, and right now he is in a sustained impasse, far from the performances that made him an elite star. In this video, we will revisit his career and see where it all went wrong. This is the rise and fall of Philippe Coutinho. The Rise Vasco da Gama Coutinho caught the attention of European scouts at the tender age of 16 while taking his first steps in the youth teams of Vasco da Gama. Inter Milan quickly bought him for almost 4 million euros, but loaned him back to Vasco for the next two years so that he could continue his development. At Vasco, Coutinho continued to show his talent, becoming a fundamental part of the team that achieved promotion to the Brazilian Serie A. Not bad for a teenager, Inter Milan and Espanyol. At the age of 18, the promising Brazilian arrived at the Italian powerhouse. Inter's manager at the time, Rafa Benitez, described him as the future of the Inter. Expectations were high, to say the least. Initially, his performances in Italy were not particularly exceptional. He was still a young player adapting to the demanding European football. Although, he had some good moments in his first season in Italy. His best season during his first years in Europe was achieved while on loan at Espanyol in Spain. There, Cochina earned a place in the starting 11 and began to gain confidence, impressing Spanish fans and then coach Mauricio Pochettino. On his return to Inter, his level was again not what was expected by the Italian club, who ultimately opted to sell him to Liverpool. Pick Liverpool After paying only £8.5 million for his services, Liverpool welcomed the Brazilian midfielder as a star, giving him the number 10 shirt, making clear the expectations they had for him. This time, those expectations were more than fulfilled. At Liverpool, Coutinho took the definitive leap from being a wonder kid to a world-class elite player. During his first few seasons, the little magician, as he was nicknamed by the Liverpool fans, became the architect of the Reds' attack, proving numerous assists for his teammates and scoring a good number of goals of his own. His brilliant performances in the Premier League also led him to be a regular in the call-ups of the powerful Brazilian national team. He even became a starter in the 2018 FIFA World Cup, where he scored two goals and was included in the World Cup Dream Team. Anyway, all good things come to an end. After shining for five seasons at Liverpool, just a few months before the 2018 World Cup, Cochino finally forced his way out to join Barcelona. The Fall Barcelona and Bayern Munich The transfer to Barcelona was not exactly a surprise. For months, there had been rumors of a transfer to La Liga. The Liverpool board tried to convince Cochino to stay in every possible way, but they were unsuccessful. Liverpool chairman Tom Werner even tried to seduce him with the promise of experiencing great nights in the Champions League if he stayed. German manager Jurgen Klopp tried off his back and forth, gave him an ultimatum in the form of a warning. Stay here and they will end up building a statue in your honor. Go somewhere else and you will be just another player. Finally, Cochino left for Barcelona for £142 million. It's hard to describe Cochino's performance during those first few seasons in La Liga. While he was good, the Brazilian midfielder was far from making up the absence of his compatriot Neymar and from being the ideal partner of Lionel Messi. At the same time, his constant injuries affected his performance and drove Barca executives and fans up the wall. To be fair, they paid £142 million for him. Coutinho failed to live up to the hype that his arrival had created. Club's prediction turned out to be accurate as Coutinho's became just another player. And to top it all, Liverpool won the Champions League the season after his departure. Maybe Klopp was the true magician after all. Finally out of patience, Barcelona decided to send Coutinho on loan to Bayern Munich, 
There, Coutinho partially rediscovered his level and was part of the great team that won the Bundesliga, DFB Pokal, and Champions League treble. He even scored the last two goals in the historic match, in which Bayern destroyed Barcelona 8-2. Great move, Bartomeu! Last year, Coutinho returned to Barcelona to demonstrate his recently rediscovered level, but got injured and was ruled out for the rest of the season after just 14 games. Final thoughts. This is pretty much Coutinho's career up to this point. His future is uncertain, as nobody knows if he will ever return to his superstar level at Liverpool. His fall has been truly precipitous, if you consider that just over three years ago, Barcelona bought him for 142 million pounds and that he is currently valued at 30 million euros, less than a quarter of what he used to be worth. Nevertheless, Coutinho has everything he needs to rise from the ashes and became one of the best again. He know he is not lacking talent. Coutinho's playing years is running out. Do you think he'll ever become the top player he once was? Comment down below and we'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more football content like this.